Hey everyone, I'm at Carol's yeah, in London. I, while she's just getting changed, I said, oh, I'm gonna have a look around your studio. Remember we talked about her ham? <laughs> look at that. Look, look at the size of that. Actually, I don't think I can lift that up with one hand. <laughs> it's huge. All those sewing machine feet. Yes, this is where she does all her, her creations, her mastery. Here we are, it's Carol everyone. Hello again everybody. <laughs> so we're gonna go into McCulloch and Wallace to have a look at some fabric. Trimmings, sure. fabrics, <laughs> advice, uh, samples, anything. Just... Let's go in and have a look. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what they're wearing. There you are, you see. So that would be the bottom of yeah. the shirt. Yeah. You could do that on the bottom, you could do this on the bottom of the sleeve or the collar. So what they do here is they they have these runners and then you just pick a sample you can take oh I see so you can take your own uh, sample of this put it on your mood boards and see how the colors are and then mesh. come back and buy it by and the then, meter yeah, oh. that's right that's right so you might see something like this on, on strictly yeah, for one of the men's jackets that kind of thing a brocade so you could take this you know do set your mood board yeah. up and then decide, and then come back, do your layout, find out how much fabric you need, and then come back. So these are, these are special Japanese prints. Now there's a, there's a trim that you would yeah. recognize, the fringe. That's perfect for a flapper dress. That's absolutely, it? and then things like this, which would go oh, very well. Look at that. As you can chevron that. Oh or as a trim wow. and on camera that looks very good and depending on what color it's lit with that orchid would change oh, look at now that. this one is matte um, and what you do is you would take this bottom thread off so it gives you a bit of control while you're working with it while you're sewing this layer you know if you're layering them or stacking them um, and then you and remove then that at the just end. remove this you can see that oh, monofilament yeah. line right there. You'd remove that at the end. And this is quite fun because it fills a great space. <gasps> you see? So if you wanted something, there's your base ribbon. Yeah. See there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how you would apply it here. But it fills up a great space and that would catch the light. And then things like this, which would go <gasps> very well. Look at that. As you can chevron that. <sighs> or as a trim wow. and on camera that looks very good in a really soft way wouldn't that be wonderful and because it's sorganza the threads themselves are iridescent and do lovely things under lights oh, oh, look, at that. This, oh look at that see there you go that is really reactive isn't it yeah so you could put that on and you could either make make use of the netting or Take that hiding. away, take that away, and for... That could be yeah, as a strap. It could It'd be as beautiful as a, as a strap, and see there. <laughs> this set, is this all about the architecture? And, and, and building it and, and having the fastenings that will yeah. hold things together. You've got alternatives, you don't have to always put a zip in. So you've got this popper tape. So let's see. So there we go, you've got your um, male and your female side. So you buy this by the meter, and you see, and that goes together, okay. that's really strong. You know, so where maybe a zip wouldn't be that reliable, yeah. you can use something like and this. And you can rip it off. And yeah, it you... take it off quickly for quick changes. You've got the hook and bar as well. So this hook and bar tape. This is uh, loop tape for covered buttons. This is elastic here. See, this is a, a lot of leeway in that. All of this, all of these trimmings are set up like that. And you've got these tiny ones as well, like satinized. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a tiny piping. Very tiny. Oh, and these, this, this is nice. This one has a Ooh, little bit of a variegated, yeah. variegated stripe in it. But all different colors for any project. And again, your day glow. It's always yeah. very effective on sportswear. Some mesh. Yeah. You don't even know what you're going to do, if you're going to increase it or if you're going to 
Maybe take a sleeve off and use that to, to restyle. Maybe you need to make something smaller or larger. You just don't know what you're going to do until you come in. Yeah. And then you say, ah, well, yeah, but we've got this organza. And maybe I can just use that as a connecting bit, you know, to put something yeah, yeah. next to something Either else side. and then back that. Mm. And it is quite modern to do this. To have an exposed zip. This is a separating one, but you could. You know, and you get around it by just cutting that off, whip stitching that together. I, I actually think that one was on Strictly a couple of weeks you ago. You think so? Yeah, really? there was a, um, Diane was in a green dress. Yeah. I think that might have been the actual zip. It was right there. It was an interesting design. Yeah, they're making the zip the feature yeah, of absolutely. the garment. You see. And that speaks, that's got a bit of metallic on it. I have used this in some couture work um, where people want a, uh, what is a strapless dress and they just want something, um, you know, over the shoulders. And here's the bonus of something like that because it, it reacts to light, it's finished. It, you don't have to worry about finishing off the, the edges because it's sealed and it's sturdy. It's not going to stretch. And look how delicate these are. So thin. Leather and suede. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so soft. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of effects. Oh. And who could forget oh, our Rick lovely Rick Rack. Oh, Lift you can take it anywhere. Man, these nice delicate oh, That's homes. tiny. Yeah, so you can mix. Tiny and big. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely as a cuff or yeah. around a collar yeah. because it has that, you know, when you, when you turn it, this what would you call the leaf edge yeah. expands so it's it's going to fit yeah so neck cuff mm -hmm. yeah. fancy shirt fancy shirt yeah. bias oh, good old now, there's bias. your bias yeah. binding we talked about that haven't we on lots of our yeah. tutorials where you can bind something like that you know when you so when you set it up so that you've just got a so maybe a millimeter in, isn't it? Yes. yeah just a millimeter there so you know if you're top stitching here you're automatically going to catch yeah. the bottom in Grosgrain ribbon, lovely in millinery, or as waistbands, because again it has that non-stretch. Oh, I didn't know that's how you pronounce it. I've been oh, grosgrain. Yeah. I've been saying grosgrain for years. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous. And on your satin. Wouldn't you like to take Carol to our Bradashery shop? <laughs> you want your own Carol? <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, satin ribbons. Oh, These you are just lovely. can't beat it, can yeah. you? That's, and it's so lovely when you just put a top stitch right on either side. Yeah. And it's nice if you put this on organza, because you can have just a big piece of organza and then even stripes all the way down. Oh. Lovely with skirts and, and uh, performance wear. Yeah. Look at that. And this is the oh, look at that. This is the million. You're going to have trouble in here. Well. <laughs> Should we get you a chair? <laughs> I remember work, these work your magic. in the 60s. <laughs> Every single wedding you stood up with, you wore one of these. And, then and what would you wear? What, you said so you wore it to weddings. So you had a nice little Oh, you had on a you had on a flowery a flowery dress with a high waist and a puffy sleeve, and <laughs> maybe a puffiness over there oh. on, on the wrist, and oh yeah, and a big flower on the side. This is. So crinoline is interesting because it's very. Um, I didn't know it was moody. stretchy. It's really moody on the I bias. It was hard. Yeah, very moody on the bias. Um, and it comes in different widths. You see that? Look at Oh, wow. Um, so that's the property because it's, it's woven on the bias like that. Um, and this is what keeps the edge of the fabric. So if you have. If you have like a bias ruffle and you put this on the bottom of it, that's when you get that great sweep of, you know, and that, that yeah. one dress that, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was a green dress. It was, yeah, the safety was, just gone. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, it must so have been. this is what gives that great bobby at the bottom. You just, you would just sew that on and then it would just take over. Yeah. Once you're controlling it with your stitch length here, then it's secure. Okay, it's, it's, you don't have to worry about it. And doing that and coming out of shape because but look at the edge. Just, that just yeah. holds itself yeah mm. and then that gives it all that drama yeah, absolutely and that dress had it for mm. sure mm. And then you bind um, that by the meter by as well. the meter yes yeah. so there you are oh, 
What fun! It is that we're on our hands and knees in, <laughs> in a little. And my it, favorite, it, my favorite, the beads, <gasps> the beads. Now these, working these with these, can take yeah, air, absolute ages to embellish something. And that's what these are. What they're talking about all the time on Strictly crystals, yes, the Czech crystals hot fix that's crystals, no, they're glued or on. non glue. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there they are, yes, look, that's what she says, I didn't know, when she says Jet AB, yeah. that's what they use. I'll have to look that up. It's a whole new world, you isn't it? You see? And on Fleur's salsa or samba one, which had the acrylic she had red, so what's that, red, a, uh, red crystals at the top mm -hmm. and then blue on the green. I was surprised she used blue, but of course, when you go under the lights, yes. that blue didn't really look blue, it looked greeny. And other fasteners. Oh, look. So you can secure these in and then use that for your lacing, and that's very quick. Oh. And then this, now this is fun because these can embellish a whole. Oh, look at that. Oh, look so, at that. so when you need to fill a great large yes. space and you need something symmetrical, That's this is what you do. That can be shoulders, that can be bodice. Oh, I bet, the, I bet It's like being in a record this. shop. Know, just look at the 12 inches. <laughs> then we come to the threads of natural threads. Elastic. They're putting together. So there's a button. Oh, we got there. Just one button. <gasps> that one button. Mm -hmm. So that would five quid. Yeah, that would be you wouldn't put that through a buttonhole, but that would be a really lovely decoration. And they have buckles too, so here's a diamante buckles. There's a round, there's a square, oblong buckle. Really pretty. So I always use a glass so a glass head, head pin. pin. Always. Nothing else will do. And the larger ones I use like that or these here if I'm working on heavier fabrics or if I'm doing menswear and you want to put a pin in the center yep. back of a, of a pair of trousers or something you need a, a sturdier pin but and always again, glass head but always yeah. you can see it yeah you know look at that so it's just cruel embroidery millinery yeah. So in betweens and yeah. sharps so we have these in the patchwork world mm -hmm. but they are so small I know and the head, the eye is so small. You can't, and you as you, can, you I don't, now your eyes are still. Yeah, I know, and I still struggle. An amazing shot. Okay. Oh, it's another one of these little cubby holes. Yes, yes. Stuart, we're going to get you a oh. chair. We'll get you in here. <laughs> so, just in the weave, really interesting textures. Oh, love. And, and this is so soft and pliable. Whoa. Oh, now this is nice, linen. Oh. Now that oh. would make a nice trim around a hat. These are great stay tapes here, perfect. Now these won't be called stay tapes, we just we just use them with the stay tapes. Yes, exactly. Or will they have stay tape on the Well, the this label? said acid-free cotton tape. Oh, right, so, yes, yeah, so that's... So there you go, 55p yeah. a metre. And Brilliant. it's good to have this on hand because lots of times you, you need something that you're going to have to control. Yeah. So and that works a treat, and it's 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 light. It's uh, practically um, you know there's nothing to it. No. You can so disappear you that, that into that a centimeter yeah. seam. Now we can't we can't call this a trip to the churning merchants <laughs> without looking so, at the velvet trim, <sighs> the classic, very formal. Well, I bet people even buy that oh, to, to wrap presents. In yes. Maybe. Yeah. Where's the red? Yeah. There you go. And there you are. Christmas red. Mm. Remember? Yeah, we love the all. Oh, two tools Vital you've got, tool. you've all got to now. have. Yeah, that, that's very, and that's really one active. when you're doing your tracing on your, yeah, your that's paper. Yeah, you're tracing through. And your beeswax for drawing yeah. your threads through. Yeah, which we talked about. We know how important oh, yeah. that is. Stops you getting those annoying knots and yeah. kinks. I made a coat out of this, yeah. this, this blue one. The first time I wore the coat, I was in a lift, and a guy came and stood next to me. And he got his, some, there was a hook on his rucksack, which got attached to one of these threads, and we were inseparable. Oh. <laughs> and then it continued to happen. Every time I wore the coat, it just snagged on everything. Oh, and that's nice. 
not very comfortable on the hands, but if you were to, because it's plastic, you can tell. Yeah, yeah that'll be a internal, yeah, the interlinings, the, the, the um, so. interfacings. Oh yes, yeah. The canvases and your calicos for doing your yeah. tar work. That's always a good one, isn't it? Having calico. Yeah. Oh yes. There we are. That was good, wasn't it? That was fantastic. <laughs> I mean, you don't get out of there quickly, do you? There's so no, much to no. look at. And, um, and things that you didn't think you needed or needed to yeah. talk about, or, you know, they just uh, brings other things to mind.